7 Rule Protocol Meghan Markle Broke at the British Fashion Awards? Prince Harry has always been a royal renegade. When he was 17, the red-headed prince was taken to a rehab center after he admitted he had smoked marijuana and illegally drank alcoholic beverages. When he was 27, TMZ released naked pictures of the royal, who was reportedly playing strip billiards in a Las Vegas hotel suite. For over two decades, Harry has been rewriting the royal rule book, and in the process, became known to the world as the fun and charming prince. No offense, Will. And now, Harry has found the perfect partner in crime. With American actress Meghan Markle on his arm, the British monarchy is receiving the modern treatment it so desperately needs. From pantyhose to PDA, we have an ongoing list tracking every time that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stray from royal protocol. Number 1. Meghan's Vanity Fair Cover It's not unprecedented for a royal to grace a magazine cover, after all, Kate Middleton was in British Vogue, but to open up about her private life with Harry pre-engagement was a big shock for royal watchers. Here's the major takeaway, Prince Harry and Markle are madly in love and they're not afraid to share it with the world. We're two people who are really happy and in love, she said. We were very quietly dating for about six months before it became news, and I was working during that whole time, and the only thing that changed was people's perception. Number 2. Wearing Lip Gloss For the same reason as avoiding contoured cheeks, real women are discouraged from wear lip gloss, according to Harper's Bazaar. The stickiness, which, as many know, can often lead to hair sticking on your lips, is something royal women want to avoid. So it surprised many when Michael showed up to a Christmas lunch hosted by Queen Elizabeth in December with a lip glossed pout. Number 3. Meghan ignored the pantyhose policy. The royal family has an unspoken policy about wearing pantyhose in public. It's not a style code that's set in stone, per se, but it's a tradition that's long been upheld by Queen Elizabeth, Kate Middleton and the ruling ladies that came before them. Until now. When Meghan Markle stepped out with Prince Harry for their official engagement photo call, the world ogled every inch of the American actress outfit. The internet went wild for Markle's snow white overcoat by line the label and her opal earrings from Burks, but royal watchers were quick to note the one thing she wasn't wearing, pantyhose. Number 4. Wearing non-British brands Traditionally, the royal family is expected to wear only British designers and brands, such as Burberry and Alexander McQueen. This is why it was such a big deal when Markle showed up at her official engagement announcement in a knee-length white trench coat by the Canadian brand line the label. Markle, who is American but spent several years in Toronto shooting her show suits, paid tribute to Canada again when she wore a collared camel coat by the Canadian brand Smythe in January. Number 5. Meghan wore a crossbody bag. The princess to be arrived at Edinburgh Castle on February 13, 2018 wearing an appropriately chic and seemingly inoffensive outfit, Burberry coat, Veronica beard pants, Burke's rings and a Stratberry bag. But it's not what Markle was wearing that broke protocol, per se, it was how she was wearing it. Gasp! A crossbody. What a shockingly common and unroyal, also known as comfortable and practical, way to carry one's lip gloss and cell phone. Number 6. Contouring her cheeks Though it's not an official rule, royal women traditionally keep their makeup simple and subtle. Though some women, such as Princess Diana with her blue eyeliner, have tiptoed outside the lines, most keep their makeup clean and natural looking, that is, Kate Middleton. So Marco definitely made a statement when she wore fully contoured and rosy blushed cheeks when she attended a Christmas Day church service in December. Number 7. Meghan isn't Anglican For centuries, it was forbidden for royals to marry a Roman Catholic. However, in 2015, an amendment to the Act of Settlement of 1701 made that allowed British royals to have an interfaith marriage. 
Markle has never actually discussed her religious affiliations openly, though it has been widely reported that her father is Jewish and she attended an all-girls Catholic high school in Los Angeles. Before her Windsor Castle wedding to Prince Harry, Meghan will be baptized and confirmed in the Church of England. By completing these religious sacraments, Markle honors Queen Elizabeth, who, as the sovereign, holds the title of Defender of the Faith and Supreme Governor of the Church of England.